The one-year project seeks to build resilience in people who are repeatedly and severely affected by droughts and floods in the country's seven northern regions. Natural phenomena compromise food security at household levels and also make it difficult for families to access safe drinking water to practice good hygiene. This funding from the government of Japan is therefore coming at the right time as it will contribute significantly to Namibia's commendable strides to reduce poverty and preserve human dignity even during difficult times such as drought and flooding. The program will particularly focus on mothers and children as this will improve their health and nutritional status through the strengthening of the health system and timely response. It's from Japan's own experience that investing in the mothers and children would contribute uh, to not only the better health, but also poverty uh, red reduction, economic growth and prosperity. With the state of the country's current bleak economy, the health ministry is optimistic that the grant will immensely change the face of poverty and diseases in the country. One of the areas the ministry wants to be more focused on is the issue of malnutrition among children and the promotion of community health. At the moment, because of the budget cutting or, or because of lack of funding, we have trained more than 640 community health workers who are at the moment sitting at home and not deployed. So we would like to deploy this, Your Excellency, to reach out to the mothers, especially pregnant mothers, to reach out to the in or newborn and to reach out to elderly people and disabled who are most vulnerable. The program is also supportive of key government international commitments to end hunger and poverty and to promote good health outcomes. I'm Lamy Hengbe reporting for NBC News.